Oh, the animation is nice! The animation is sweet! Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, last night I was on the test server trying out Radash, trying him in all sorts of content. This tiger is an absolute beast. He wants his frosties. Come and check out what we did with him last night. Speed and strength are the two great buffs. This is a really good um, clan boss type ability, but also just great for any waves. You know, Fire Knight with a double hitter here, tanky. You got here as well, passive. At the start of each turn, places perfect veil for one turn on the ally with the highest attack, which is cool as well. Gets 20% more damage against targets who's got a defense lower than him. That's pretty much an arena based mechanic there. So it's, it's, it's a bit mixed. This, this could be arena, I guess. Plus this is arena. This is not a bad arena kind of set of buffs, but he's the one being hidden, not, not everyone else, which is weird. But he does hide one nuka here at the start of his turn, which is cool as well. Let's just do masteries first. He does need accuracy and stuff. So this is where he's one of those odd balls, right? Would you build him pure damage? I guess we're building pure damage first. Or do you build him as a debuffer? Good for mischief tank. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is he? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's go with this one. Well, we've got 240 crit damage, 6.2k defense. It's not, it's not like the best build in the world, but it's not bad either. He's really slow. It doesn't matter. We're just literally showing how much his like max damage potential would be. It's not how we would actually build him out. Yeah, we've got maximum damage. That's it. Yeah, done his mastery. He's just need to do his books. How many does he take, actually? Four, uh, eight, ten. It feels like they've reduced the amount of books generally of people coming in. Ten to eleven feels like the number at the minute. But like in the shorts, get the headbands out. You guys want to see some headbands on? Is that the way we're going with this? <laughs> That's where we're going, guys. That's where we're going. What color do we want? What color? Go red. Uh, I can't go green, can I? Go pink. I think they're quite looking as good as they used to. Been sitting around for a while. Right. Spot. Uh, Dragon nineteen. Let's see what he does. Can you bring them to TwitchCon? <laughs> Sure thing, buddy. Maximum damage. Let's do it. Buffs, buffs, buffs. Okay. A1, double hitter. What are we going to get out of this? Double hitter. Yes, increased defense. He's already got it anyway. Oh, the animation is nice. The animation is sweet. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Damn, that is actually cool. I need to see that again. That is clean. Let's see that again. Oh, I like that a lot. 260 odd K. It's an okay A1. Nothing too crazy for damage. That animation is sweet though, isn't it? That is actually cool. Let's check what his A2 looks like. Which is actually a drop defense ability, don't forget. So drop, uh, the drop defense plus stun chance. A2. This is literally like about as hard as he's ever going to hit. 300. It's actually pretty big. It's actually pretty big. That's not bad. That is... All dead, yeah, all dead. That's like a candy hit that we just saw. That's candy level of damage right there. That's pretty solid. When there's no decreased defense and no weaken out there, then what does it actually look like? 
He puts the defense out first. He did. Hold on a second. He definitely did. I think it cannot weak hit. I'm just going to see that on stage 20. I think that means it cannot weak hit. Right. So there's no decreased defense out there. I think he does it, then hits. So he can still weak hit, I think. But he should place decreased defense on everybody without the, the ability to weak hit. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, actually. That's actually awesome. But it means that the ones where he does weak hit, he won't stun. So he can't stun because he weak hits. So there's a bit of a double, double negative on the ones where he doesn't do it. But the fact that he plays it out there against any affinity. Take Hydra, for example. Okay, he can't stun Hydra. But he will definitely land the drop defense on all of the heads before he does his hit. That's pretty cool. That is pretty damn cool. Because that is like him going full damage. Plus he's not in his right role. He should be someone who sets up. Drop defense type of stuff. Albeit, it's a bit like Astralon. Astralon could be your nuke or he could be your control, yeah? This guy could be a drop defense champion or he could just be a full nuke. Forget the drop defense. Uh, so let's just speed him up quite a bit. I still want to keep him like in a damage build, but we're just going to try and get him moving fast. Damn, that's nice. Okay, what have we got? So 240 speed now. We're just under 100% crit rate, whatever. 4.8k defense. So now he's our setup, yeah? And I think you would probably... I mean, you might still run him like this, honestly. But you might decide to be going a bit more for like a universal, you know, Doom Towery, Hydra type build. Not just straight damage. So you might be thinking that you run him a bit more like this. So like this. Wonder what it'd be like in clan boss. I don't know if he's really a clan boss champion. I think he could be all right in Hydra. But you could use him as a kind of drop defense style champion who can play anywhere. I mean, it won't be quick, but I'm just wondering if there's something like this that could be done. Who else is actually built? Let's just see this. Can we play the new Dark Elf Lego next? I'm not sure. We might be trying out Cupidus a bit. We'll see what people want to do. So, I mean, the stun is significant control for waves. You get a drop defense and a stun out. Everyone else just gets loads of time to do whatever they want to do. Look at that. Loads of time to do whatever you want. And he gets back to uh, doing it really damn quick as well, I think. What was his cooldown on it? Three? But he chooses to buff. I mean, I know I've got a couple of areas of control in here, but they haven't had a turn yet. Yeah, he's a wave MVP. Yeah, that's a good, good way of describing him, I'd say. Grim, he hits pretty damn hard. Yeah, 300k was a max damage hit we got out of him. AoE. Neutron, exactly that. Good champ everywhere. Probably not going to be like in speed farm or speed teams anywhere. Well, saying that, like, drop defense and AoE stun is kind of like what Astralon does, right? For the big, big boy spider teams. 100% chance to stun is incredibly good. Incredibly good. But you've also got a relevant skill alongside it. So I think that could be pretty relevant. Hey, Green Snakes, thank you for the sub. King Cobra as well. And Murs, love the Dream Vid. Player should learn from your vids. Yeah, let's hope so. Thank you for the sub, mate. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you can see here, we're just under full control. Cool animations as well, this guy. 
gets his increased defense up every time he does an A1. So that when he does his next ability, it's, it's hitting harder. Pretty cool. Pretty cool kit. You've got a double hit for Finite Boss. Loads of buffs as well. Like the buffs are like increased speed and strengthen are really good buffs. They're really good buffs. I like this guy a lot. I think it's going to be really like, is he going to be in all of the end game fastest teams that exist? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think he will, but he might creep into some of them somehow. It's definitely solid. Big for the Skinwalker faction, yeah, yeah. But he becomes a bit of a carry, really. Love the animations, though. The animations are really cool. Uh, I don't have Jing Wan colas, unfortunately, so I can't do any testing there. We don't get all of the champions on the test server. We get our own champions and we get the new champions. Not, not just anyone who's had a buff. I mean, I'm not being funny. 3 minutes 30 for a no seer team. That's actually quite quick for, uh, for 25. That's actually pretty fast. But it's, it is hard to do. It is hard to do without the kind of meta champions. He's done as much damage as nearly anyone there. I think that's that's solid actually that is good